I don't really have a plan. I have... Well, this is where my colonists are at. I've been... I got some more mods for RimWorld, including the smutty one. Um, and some accessories to it. Um, not ones that give nipples or genitals to the pawns, and base game they could be featureless nude. Um, nudism is just a base trait, straight up. Um, so, the not safe for worker streaming mod for RimWorld, which I did finally get around to. I have made Skyrim and Fallout 4 and Sims 4 entirely unsafe, but those also show explicit nudity. Um, and the sounds and animations are just a no, but also in Skyrim and Fallout 4. I strip bodies and, oops, no, there's a naked corpse laying there. And trying to avoid that was a pain in the ass. And I don't want to have to edit video. Um, with this, the um, having the nude bodies not be featureless is an entirely separate option rather than a fundamental part of allowing that content in general. But also, the mods let me turn off the sounds entirely and can have what animations there are still be fully clothed. So, I've done both of those things turned off the sounds, and mandated that the clothes stay on, just in case. Um, but... I started with just the one. Um, she had more than one kid, but the other one had some real shitty traits that made him a... Uh, no, as soon as you can walk, you get kicked out. I don't want you. Um, my... Animal population is entirely predators. Um, I don't know if it's just a weird side effect of the breeding and all the prey species reproduce. Oh, fuck. Boomalopes showed up. Um, but I keep having maps depopulate of predators. They're not even dying. They just leave. Why? You have... You end up with a lot more food than you normally would have. Never mind the explodey fuckers. It's raining and I do want to hunt more of them down. I just did a swath of boom rats. I had I didn't have boomalopes before, and I do now, and that's a problem. Um, but I just went through. Um, I have killed more boom rats than that. Um, but I finally gotten down to well, having these predators also means they leave partially eaten bodies across the map that also get broken down. But we can clean up these fuckers when it's raining. Oh. I already got rid of all the girls, so you can't make more. Let's do that with the boomalops. Our, our plants are have fallen behind. 
Um. Um. Because we needed to get the bodies hauled and broken down and turned into kibble before they all rotted. I mean, I could just leave them out to have things. Um, eat them, but... No. While it's still raining, do damage to the others. Well, you're male, but... It's not worth it. Don't do it. That's... oops. STOP MAKING MORE OF THEM! <sighs> no, you... you leave him alone. You know what? Fuck it though. If the map's on fire, anyway. Nope. No, that. Come make it worse. You were stupid enough to light yourself on fire? God damn it. You can't tend it while it's still actively on fire? You stupid... Get cornered in the fire and explode. Jesus. Um. No? Where's the wounded one? You're still making your way over. They keep getting hurt hunting, doing shit. So, that's what those are there for. But, I can't treat them until they get there. Um, I have had so many of these patches sprout. One, two, three. And then I just got a fourth one, and I don't remember where it was. Oh, over there. Oh, yeah. See, because our wolf did that. But, you know what, fuck it, you. Shit's already on fire. No, I don't care if the corpse burns. No, no, they've gotten farther from the fire. Oh, you are pre oh, 
right, I forgot. Nymphs or something you can have join except vat grown nymphs, or at least. Yeah, they come with one of the bots, but they can't do anything. Or they can't do most things. Like, I could just have them haul. I could just have them haul. Let's see. Otherwise, this would be a nude pawn, and there's no explicit animation that... And you get this stick figure or whatever shaped nude body that you get in the default. But yeah, I have them keep clothes on just in case. Um, you're so useless. Yeah. I had forgotten why I didn't want... I had forgotten why I'd turned off them potentially wandering in and joining. Now I remember. Um, they're guaranteed to have that. Um, you get to get our cultural set of traits. I edit the saves for if people are joining, they are agreeing to this shit, so they get a set of traits, including getting rid of that one. Um, yeah, that's what I named our faction. Um, I don't know if I want to bother. Maybe. But the only things you're allowed to do, you're not even good at the one that matters. No, I can. The weird thing is, and in editing the save file, um, it's plain ish text. It's not actually very hard. Um, it, it will give me numbers for all of these. So. What I would do is move all the stuff that's disabled but has stuff in it in the back end, move it onto the things they're actually allowed to do. Um, so they could be very good at the few things they can do, but mostly it's a hey, if someone else does all the hauling, it means the two of us that are useful can um, better diversify our limited time. Oh, yeah. These still need to be filled in, but those fucking exploding bastards. <sighs> They're a problem even when you don't have things that let them breed and multiply all over the place. Because, oh boy, are they a problem. And it doesn't rain enough. I mean, if I had more people, we could just... thin them out more readily, but... Eh. I have only had human offspring the once so far um children we've had this lynx we this map started with two predators a cougar who just left and pretty early on and a lynx who stayed around for longer um, he left, but his daughter is still here. Um, 
then. This adult grizzly has sired the other three with what are the other well, both of us. Um, and the cobras, there were a pack of 15, or a stack of 15, fertilized cobra eggs on a merchant that had come to visit, and I figured, fuck it, there's a shit ton of rodents on this map, and yeah, since the maps keep depopulating of uh, predators, I have entirely accumulated predators. Um, one of us actually has the handling skill to keep them tame if I really wanted to put in the effort, but if they go feral and just go wild, I'll just let it happen. Um, so, yeah, some of the tactics are independent of the, um, smut mods, um, some of them, some of the problems <laughs> in normal gameplay are exacerbated by them. Explody fuckers. <sighs> This is what I've been spending most of my time, my down time with. I... Yeah, they're worth a lot more meat. I don't think I have enough stuff. I actually started planting more when I got to the, oh, I need to thin out a long list of critters. Um, and I was not having enough um, of the vegetation to kibble at all. But It's going all right, I guess. I That's fine. Yeah. If I'm gonna keep you, well, I may also change your hair color. If I keep you, I do need to edit the save file before I continue on, but I just kind of wanted to talk through a bit of what I've been up to and will not be streaming, and streaming, will not be recording and uploading generally. This was a, I have tweaked things so that I could have time to talk about it. And, you know, not have too many concerns about you were over here somewhere. Yeah, you have a while. Oh, those don't reset to zero. You're gonna those. Um, yeah. Anyway, save again now that I've told it to do that, but yep, anyway, that's 
this nonsense and forest fires um, are what I've been up to um, that isn't Lunar. And now that Lunar's done, I I have no idea what um, I have no idea what I want to do um, for recording. Um, I do have a mod that lets you have larger stacks, which is why I don't need a lot more space than I am taking up. Because the stack size was obnoxious in that I would need to have whole sprawling compounds just to have just to house ridiculously small stacks of shit that I need. Um, and the mod that I've got lets me adjust how big those stacks just how big those stacks can get, but I've basically kept the default numbers, which is Normally, these piles can go up to 75, so I would already need, with the stuff I've got, this whole room would be occupied um, with just the shit I've already got, and then I would need a lot more space. Um, so, no. I, that shit gets old real quick, so... Oh, and there is actually a deliberate thought process with the how I've done this. The kibble that I will let the stuff that starts inside or stays inside, if it ends up being passive stuff or something that is probably not safe to let it outside until it's a juvenile and can do a better job of hunting for itself. Um, but I wanted to restrict access specifically to the rest of the food stuff. They're allowed to eat the kibble. They're not allowed to eat the stuff that I make the kibble with. <laughs> um, and it kept happening. So the construction cube and the storage space that goes around it needed to be isolated off so that there can be an area that's actually um, that's this one um, area one is everything but which is where all of the predators are area two is that if you're indoors you're in there um, because some things can be ruled by areas instead of pens it is also a pen but some things are managed by areas and not pens, so I needed it to be specific. Um, yeah, these are all area types. Not all of the herbivores and other passive creatures are pen specific. Some of them are area but yeah anyway that's more than enough of me rambling about this 